Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, do another little video here, uh, talk about something that I did for the KRX. I've, I've never seen one quite like it. I've seen some interesting stuff, but for my needs, again, kind of fell back into if you want it, then you're going to have to make it. Um, did a fiberglass enclosure over the rear half of the side by side. Uh, still have full use of the trunk, um, but this is actually a fiberglass shell it's not perfect um, nothing i ever do is perfect and i'm okay with that um, put a plexiglass window in it although to be honest with you i use the backup camera that little feller uh, more than i use the mirrors at this point gotten really used to it uh, so this right here i'll insert some pictures in this video so you can kind of see what it is um, basically just taped over from, from one bar, ran tape to the next bar all the way across. I did the side pieces first, um, laid down some fiberglass, um, stiffened it up quite a bit. And then once that was done, I came back and in the third section, I did the back piece. Um, I wanted to mount the ds18 six and a half which have some pretty large pods i wanted to mount them to that uh, the mounting brackets that come with those i don't know how long they are they feel like they're about six inches long i, I didn't want them sticking through the cab i didn't want or through the, the the back cover i didn't want them to mount to the actual bars um so they're actually mounted to the back and you can see there's two bolts uh in each one that hold those in place been on a couple rides uh, no problems, they hang in there good and tight. Um, but the reason I wanted to add this was simply because I've, I've got some stereo stuff in here that is marine rated, water resistant, right? Uh, anytime I, I deal with electronics, I don't think anything's waterproof. It, it's just water resistant. I left this stuff exposed for about a year and never had any issues, but I felt like I was really pressing my luck. So I went ahead and just got rid of the... Uh, the, the concern by adding the, the, the top. So um, right now I'm running a Kicker L7 Thin 8 inch sub in a box that I did a previous video on. You can find it on the, uh, the channel here if you wanna look for it. Uh, I've added a CT Sounds 8 and I don't know if you can see it back there. Hiding way back in there is a JL Audio 12 inch subwoofer. Uh, interestingly enough, I can actually disconnect any one of the speakers and it still sounds pretty great. Uh, if I only had to pick one speaker, it'd be tough to choose between this eight and the one that's actually in the back there. Both of them beat that 12 to death. Um, the, 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 the 12 really just doesn't compare. Um, and both the, the eights are imported boxes that, that are just very luckily tuned uh, to, to, to hit really hard in this side by side. Uh, adding the, the back enclosure also did keep a lot more bass in the car. So, um, you know, it, it was it was a win-win. So, well, the sun's out now, so we'll get a, maybe a better look at it. Really couldn't figure out what to do about the color. Uh, just put some Raptor truck liner, bed liner coating on it and then splash some green on it for now. Um, everything I do is kind of temporary. If you've watched my channel enough, you already know nothing I do is permanent. Um, I do still have the Milwaukee pack out racks here. I invited some friends down uh, a couple weekends ago to go riding. Uh, so put in the bigger cooler to make sure I had enough for everybody and just haven't changed it out yet. When I'm riding by myself or if it's just, uh, you know, me and a passenger, the, the, the pack out coolers work just fine. I just bigger trip, more people thought I'd, I'd bring more drinks. So uh, that's pretty much it. So if uh, you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, again, uh, new wrap. Uh, this one here was done by uh, Greg at, at UTV Graphics, Crazy Graphics. Um, pretty good looking wrap. We can do a whole different uh, video probably on, on wraps. I've used a couple different vendors. Uh, pros and cons with both. Uh, really right now I'd say... Uh, you know, this one's too new to see if it's going to stand up to the abuse that the uh, the last ones went through. But so far, so good. But uh, appreciate y'all's time. And uh, I'll, I'll add some pictures here in the video. So uh, probably 
maybe add some uh, some voiceovers or something, or, or maybe I'll just throw some pictures at the end and you can just kind of flip through them. I'll put you a little, little goofy song in there or something, so. Uh.